We came to the Google Fit Apple Health app comparison thinking we were going to see two pretty similar apps because they were both the built-in health app on the different OSs. One of the interesting points is, okay, Apple is giving you all of these options related to health. You know, you have a variety of other apps, whereas Google is really trying to get all the information directly from you. So a lot of R&D goes into software, AI technology, and you can even see how this stuff starts to manifest in the actual application itself. Apple's a hardware company. Yeah. And Apple collects its data primarily through the Apple Watch watch right now for fitness. With each Apple Watch, they add a new sensor. As a result, they're not flexing too much with AI and camera technology here, right? Instead, they're sort of collecting the data in Apple Health. One thing that's really interesting to observe is how, yes, you need to respond to your users. Yes, you need to do the best possible job as a designer to make something intuitive and interesting. But the business model of the person hiring you, of the company you work at, can dictate a lot. Yeah, yeah. You know? That's what we're seeing is business model just, you know, even more than, than users can dictate right. experience.